What's up guys, MMA Game here, bringing you some much requested Surreal Diabate footage. But as you can see, my opponent picked Rashad Evans. We are in the light heavyweight division and he gets mount extremely fast. Looking to end the fight quick, but as you can see, I'm not letting him transition. We're both blocking each other's transitions and it gets kind of funny. But Surreal Di Diabate does have the uh, sweep back into... Uh, guard so that's good uh, the reason it's taking me so long to get this game is because surreal Diabate is not easy to win with at least with my experience he does have some good strikes he's got head kicks overhand punches flying knee as you saw right there but the thing with him is he just lacks that overall power and you know he kind of you can kind of exploit him on the ground a bit and the other thing is, too, he's in the division where there's just literally so many more choices, better choices, that there's no real reason to choose Surreal Diabate because if you're going to pick him, like, you might as well just pick um, Shogun. I mean, it's pretty much a better version. Pretty, really similar type of fighter. Even like, um, even like Lyoto, anyone with kicks and stuff is probably going to be a better pick. Uh, his one, ad I will go over some of his advantages though, uh, that you can see in this fight. And this is also a bit of a comeback fight as well. And I do apologize if you can hear like any kind of rain on, uh, there's like a window and yeah, you might be able to hear some rain because it's raining a little bit, but anyway, yeah, his advantages are pretty much his reach and his height. Uh, Sometimes that comes into play where your opponent will throw strikes at you and because of your height and stuff, like, they won't land right. And, you know, it's always good to have, like, with the range, obviously the kicks, you can throw them from further away. Uh, the other thing he does have also is the uh, automatic Muay Thai clinch, but it's really not as much of an advantage as you would think uh, because, again, his strength... You know, once you put him in, people in that, he doesn't have the the whips, for one. I don't think he does. He might, but I don't I don't remember. But we're in round two now. And, uh, yeah, back to the uh, Muay Thai clinch. It just, every time I've tried to use it with him, it just doesn't really work out that much. Unless they're kind of gassed and they're up against the cage where you can just put them right up against there. In that case, yeah, it does pretty good. But this is, fight is also a bit of a comeback fight, and as you can see, he keeps shooting in, and I keep trying to get the knee. I knew he was going to keep shooting in, so that's why I just kept throwing it. The other really cool move that uh, Surreal Diabate does have is that really quick body knee from like pretty much elbow range, which means like if you're right in front of him uh, and you throw a... Uh, like a power kick it won't it'll do like this really quick knee to the body and it does a lot of damage to the body so if you want to work the body that way with uh, just normal body kicks then it's a good idea to throw that you can actually counter people with it as well if they shoot for takedowns but it's pretty hard and as you can see like I know he's gonna do it so trying to get the counter rock Diabate also has the um, ducking down hooks, the big overhand hooks, so those are useful as well. Like his striking is good, like I said, it's just a matter of, you know, can he compete with the other guys in the division in striking? Not really. I've got a lot of losses with him. I'm trying to think of some other strengths he has. Here he gets me up against the cage and does a lot of damage uh, that I didn't want to be there, so you got to circle off the cage. Never get trapped up against the cage because people can put a lot of damage out in a short period of time and you can get rocked really easy. So you never want to stay up against the cage. Don't don't be pulling no Anderson Silva in this game because it doesn't really work. You can't just put yourself against the cage like that. It's You'll get rocked. <laughs> you'll get rocked almost every time. So, Yep, uh, Surreal Diabate actually has a fight coming up against Chad Griggs. Which, if you don't know who that is, he is a former Strikeforce fighter who usually 
was fighting as a heavyweight, but he was a really small heavyweight, so, um, yeah. He was actually one of my favorite fighters from Strike Force, and I'm so glad that he's now in the UFC. And also, it's pretty exciting that he has moved down to uh, light heavyweight. So, we'll see how he does there. And we'll go into the third round. Come out swinging. Again, he keeps the takedowns. And I'm just thinking, man, I just got to catch this dude at some point. And... It really becomes a matter of time here, and this is another reason why I really wish they had five-round fights. Because fights like this, where he's really kind of stalling, he's trying to get damage done, but he's really just kind of, you know, stall. And if you see what he did there, he had me up against the cage and he just let me up. A lot of people will do that to try to catch you off guard and land a bunch of damage up against the cage. And that's this guy definitely was trying to do that. Right here, I throw him down, fake the first punch to the body. And, uh, I mean to the head, and then hit him with the next one. Diabate has good um, punches from guard. He's got elbows, and he can do some damage from guard. But really, uh, the thing with this fight is, you know, he is the takedowns. He, he keeps taking me down. At this point of the fight, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose a decision. So, I'm just pretty much trying to finish this fight somehow. Get a nice head kick on him right there. Those are actually really hard to time. Um, he drops me. That was a pretty strong punch. But again, if, if they shoot for a takedown and they're way out of range, if you get good at it, you can actually time right when they're getting up. You throw a head kick and it just hits them right in the face. And it's pretty much like a free, free strike, uh, power strike. But it's hard to time it. He lifts me up again. He lets me up again right there. And he's doing, he, that's kind of, he's been doing this. Look, he even did it again. And then he just rushes in for the takedown again to try to get the slam. I mean, it's kind of smart. He drops me again there. I'm just getting dropped left and right. At this point in the fight, I'm thinking, man, this three-round fight. And still didn't get a gameplay with this guy. But right there, kind of glitched out. And he missed the takedown because I was throwing a head kick. Get back up. I know he's going to freaking keep looking for that takedown. So I'm going for the uh, knees. Drop him with an uppercut. Go in. Low stamina. But I get the rock. Look at that. I use up all my stamina. Pound him out. Fight's over. Surreal Diabate gets the big comeback on Rashad Evans. And that is the fight, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. And make sure to leave a like for future requests because i'll te keep taking you guys' requests also follow me on twitch tv and twitter i'll be doing a live stream this week not sure what day but till next time guys it's been mma game peace And with our official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki.